If you notice in my bag, I've got two putters. I've got a standard normal length putter. This one's 34 inches. It actually is that length because it puts the ball right underneath my eyes. I want my eyes and the ball on the same line. This putter, this is my long putter. Like I mentioned before, or we mentioned in one of the later tips, I've got a bad back. I've got a ruptured disc at the L4 and L5. And when it bothers me, it's very difficult for me to bend over and practice putting. It gets to be painful. You'll notice that when you putt, generally you'll bend over more than if you just stood up to a golf ball. So the long putter allows me to stand up a little more upright. Again, the right length puts the ball underneath my eyes. And what I do with this putter is I just take it back and I take it forward just like that. Now, there's a secret to the long putter. Some people think, well, you got to be a bad putter to putt with a bad, you know, long putter. I'm a great putter with a short putter. I'm a great putter with this, and I can putt with a sand wedge. But let me show you something. When you putt with a standard putter, guess what? You've got a lever action right here. And that, my hands and that putter have to start back at exactly the same time for me to keep this club head square to where I lined it up. Now, left hand low doesn't totally do it, but it eliminates a lot of the lever action. And that's why you see a lot of players putt with their cross-handed you know, cross left hand low. Now, here's the beautiful thing about the long putter. You've eliminated the lever action. You've eliminated one of the biggest errors in putting because my hand and that club head have to start back exactly at the same time. So when I line this putter up and I just take it back and take it through, this putter stays square to my target. Why these big heads on putters? Well, let's call it moment of inertia. They're more stable. It's easier to keep this club head square to my target. Now, you might have that sentimental feeling for that old putter that's 30, 40 years old. And they're not bad putters, but I'm gonna tell you something right now. You're losing a lot of money to your buddies on the greens if you're not putting with some of this new technology.